Olympians are emotionally intelligent. We can see this with certain athletes. Some will be cool as a cucumber. You'll see the athlete with the big arena around them, cheering, shouting, music, and you'll see them sitting in a meditative state, cool as a cucumber. Others will be riding the wave of all that energy. It's feeding them. It's fueling them. Again, going back to a word that my mom loved, willy-nilly, this is intentional. They have recognized, likely through coaching and a growth mindset, that emotions are not one size fits all. They've learned through practice what works for them and what could bait them into losing their edge. It is amazing to see how they can personalize their experience to meet their needs. But what does that have to do with releasing alcohol? What does that have to do with the members that I coach here at at AFL? Well, if you've listened to enough of these podcasts, and certainly if you join one of our programs, you'll learn more and more about what alcohol is as a substance, what this drug does. In particular, what it does to our emotions. If we want to be emotionally intelligent, how do we get there if we're consuming a depressant, an addictive substance that hijacks our prefrontal cortex, which is the, I like to call the smart part of our brain, responsible for decision-making, executive function, planning. How do we do that when we are driven by more primitive emotions because of the effect that alcohol has on our amygdala? How do we become emotionally intelligent when the space between a trigger and our reaction is so small? When we release alcohol, we move into response mode. And so we get to choose our response in any situation, whether that is someone offering us a drink, a professional situation, a relationship, managing stress, all the things that mm, maybe we drank over. And so what works for you, you might not know exactly just yet. But here's a good place to start. You know what doesn't work, and that's enough. So imagine if one of those athletes who has found that they do best when they are calm and collected and meditative, imagine if they saw what their friend did and said, oh, I want to be like them. That looks fun. That looks good. And then they recognize, ooh, nope, that didn't work. Would they go back and do it again? Probably not. They'd say, no, I know what works for me. And so with alcohol out of your system, out of your brain and your body, you might not know what works for you just yet. But with coaching and a community of like-minded individuals dealing with a lot of the same life stuff as you, chances are you can find it out. James, David, Terry, and I, we're not just coaches. We've lived much of what our members have experienced. And we found what works for us while maintaining that growth mindset of, huh, is this still serving me? Is it time to shift gears and try something else? And that's what makes life fun, having that growth mindset. Except it doesn't come without being aware of your emotions. 